Differential equations can be studied as abstract objects of pure mathematics, but to me, that's not what makes the field interesting. Differential equations, as they are usually studied, are a subfield of applied mathematics. And the way differential equations are applied are through models. A model is a differential. equation that represents some real world quantity. And we have seen an example of a model, although we didn't use that word. We've come back a few times to P of T, where P of T is an animal population. And the differential equation is given by this. And this is a good time to mention that all models involve a sum. And in fact, speaking bluntly, all models are incorrect. That's just life in applied mathematics. This model carries with it to the assumption that we have a constant birth rate. And of course, that assumption is never going to be quite correct. You can have birth rates that are fairly constant across fairly long time periods, but birth rates will fluctuate. So this is an assumption, and because this assumption is never quite true, it's going to make the model be not quite accurate. So then you have to make a, a sort of a value judgment. Is the model good enough? And we have to ask this question because making the model better comes at a cost. 
cost. Let's make this model better. Instead of having a constant birth rate, we'll let the birth rate change. The birth rate can change based on time. Maybe, for example, the birth rate oscillates as the seasons change. And will that the birth rate depend on the current population as well? Because it's frequently true that as populations grow, their birth rates shrink. This model is better than this model. It no longer carries with it this faulty assumption. But the cost of this is that we cannot do anything with this new model. Now we have this completely unknown function of two variables. Our model is suddenly so general that there is no possible way we can study it. What's P of T going to do? Well, it's going to depend entirely on this unknown function. So we made our model better, but the trade-off is too high. We can't actually study this model because it's now too general. So what we need is some kind of middle ground. Our model is going to be incorrect. We need it to be good enough that it still makes valuable predictions, but not so fine to and that we can no longer do anything with it. And this isn't really a modeling course, but we'll come back to this idea several times throughout the semester to the idea that the model we're looking at has flaws, and the question of whether these flaws stop it from being useful.